Hey everyone, this is Emily with Daz 3D and I am excited to announce that we have two new hair features in Daz Studio. This video is going to be a quick rundown of these new hair features. They are very customizable so you will want to play around with the features and customize the hair any way you'd like. The first feature that we are going to discuss is Deep Force Hair. This feature works just like the Deep Force clothing. You can morph the hair and simulate it so that it falls as it would naturally on the figure. So the first thing that you will want to do is select the hair in the scene pane. And if you go down to the surfaces pane, on the right side you'll see all of these options for you to customize the hair. So let's say that our figure went out in the rain and now his hair is looking a little flat. We can change the iterations on the hair to zero, simulate it, and that hair will be flat against his head. Now when you render it, you will be able to see this more clearly. This is very customizable, so you can play around with the settings in the surfaces pane to make this hair really look however you'd like. The next hair option that we have added to Daz Studio is strand based hair. This hair is even more customizable. You can add hair to any part of the body and fully customize it. First, select the hair in the scene pane, and then you will need to update and merge menus. This is just to get the feature added into Daz Studio. Go to Window, Workspace, and click on the Update and Merge Menus option. Now, to customize the hair, go to Edit, Object, Strand Based Object you will see that the strand based hair editor appears. Under the setup tab, you can select whatever part of the body you want the hair to apply to. Now under the paint tab, you will select which specific parts of the body you want to add hair to. So I want to give him a hairy chest and I really want to give my figure some hairy arms. I'm just going to paint over the places that I want to apply the hair and then I'll go to the Distribute tab and you will see the hair applied to the places I selected. Now this will not be the final result of how your hair will end up looking. It's just to give you an idea of where the hair is applied on the body. You can also change the hair density and the color here is for the color if you render in 3 to light. If you're rendering in iRay, you can change the color in the surfaces pane in Daz Studio. Under the Style tab, we can style the hair how we want. So say I want to comb down his arm hair because it's just a bit too wild for me. I can select the comb tool and comb down that arm hair. I also want to comb down his chest hair. And if I'm looking at his mohawk, I do want to edit this a little bit so that it sticks straight up. So I am going to use that comb and style that hair. I am showing you the comb option as just one option that you can use for styling the hair. You can play around with those different settings and style it however you would like. If you are wondering what different tools do and still aren't sure after hovering over them to see what the tool is, you can click that question mark in the bottom left corner and then select the tool that you're unsure what it's used for and a description will come up that will tell you exactly how to use the tool. If you're still unsure or want more information, click on the more info link and then you will be taken to the documentation on the strand based hair editor. You can also click shift F1 on your keyboard and then click on one of the options that you'd like to learn more about. This will do the same thing. It is just a keyboard shortcut to find more information on these features. So in the clump tab, I can see how the hair will appear on my figure. I'm liking the way it's looking. So I'm going to click accept and it will be applied to the figure. Now notice when I'm back in the viewport, the hair doesn't show up exactly like it does in the strand based hair editor. You will need to render in order to see the hair. You can find more options in the surfaces pane. Say I want to edit the color and I want the hair base color to be a bright pink, but I want the hair tip color 
to be a bright green. I can select those and as soon as I render, the hair will appear with that style that you set up and with the color you set up. Again, this is so customizable. You can do whatever you'd like with this product. If you do have any further questions, please let us know by contacting our help center. But you will want to play around with each feature and have fun with it. We hope to see your new creations in our gallery and we hope that you have a wonderful week.